It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And these are ryes. And Sarah, what are they? They are Sagamore ryes. Sagamore Rise. We got four of them here. We're gonna do all four. Thank you to uh, Whiskey Crusaders, aka Matt, uh, and Sagamore for helping us get these, get our hands on these. Uh, we didn't have them for a while in uh, Kentucky, but now I believe they're available. Yes. So yes. it's really exciting for us to try not one, but four of these. Four. Super pumped. Um, so these are, as you said, Rise. They're actually Maryland Rise. What is a Maryland Rye? Well, let me tell you. Go ahead. <laughs> so apparently, back before Prohibition, there were typically like two types of ryes in American whiskey. There was Maryland rye and Pennsylvania rye. So Maryland rye is classified as like a sweeter, softer rye. Cause you know, sometimes rye can get very spicy and bold, which is the Pennsylvania style. So this is Maryland style. Um, and Sagamore was actually a, a horse farm that's named after that, um, which is why you get the diamonds and the fun little uh, patterns because it is a horse racing industry thing. Jockey silks. Jockey silks, yes. Yeah. So they use the the spring that's nearby on the farm Oops. to use that water, cuts the, the whiskey, and they say, that that water is the reason why their horses are so strong and good at racing. And that sounds awfully, awfully familiar. Awfully familiar from two Kentuckians. I don't know how I feel about that, but <laughs> we'll let it go. So so we have four of these today. Um, we have the just standard straight rye, the double oaked, a port finished, and the cast strength. All right, so what we're gonna do here is a mash cut of uh, some cork pops, starting with this one, Sagamore straight rye. Sagamore Double Oak, Sagamore Port Finish, and Sagamore Cast Strength. All right, we're gonna be starting off with just the regular Sagamore Straight Rye. This is 83 proof. Mm -hmm. This is bottled in Baltimore, but it is produced in Indiana. Now they say, which we can all guess, MGP. Uh, they say though that they use their mash build and they're currently producing themselves um, but this bottle came from their mash bill, which MGP made for them. So what they do is they make a high rye mash bill and then they make a barely legal or low rye mash bill, which is just about 50%. And then they blend those together after the aging process to get this. Okay. Very floral and like burnt orange peel. Yeah, lots of orange peel. All right. Clove. Clove, heavy. yeah. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I do <clears throat> see the softness. It's very light. That is really light. I still think though those nice spices give it some oomph that kind of help make up for that lower proof. Unless you like lower proof fries and this might be for you. Not a long finish at no. all. But that's to be expected with the 83 proof. Very clovey. Um, yes, very clovey. <clears throat> Not the cloviest rye that I've ever had. Not the cloviest of them all. I give it a six out of 10 cloves. Six out of 10 cloves, okay. <laughs> it warms you right up though. Like this is why I like ryes mm. in the cold weather because it really just gives you straight, I can't call it a Kentucky hug. Maybe it's a, a Maryland snuggle. A Maryland squeeze. A Maryland squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my Maryland squeeze? <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I am feeling nice and toasty right now. It's good. It's a, I think it's a really great start and I can't wait to go to the next one. Agreed. The double oak. So let's do it. Let's go. Up next on the chopping block is the double oaked. Now they, they say oaked or oak, double oak. Uh, oaked. Some say oaked. Some say oaked. This is just double oak. 96.6 proof. This would be a double oaked uh, straight rye. Let's see what we got. I have to say, I really love that bottle. Like the detail on it, it's such a unique shape. I've never seen a bottle shape like that before. I think that this like geometric shape really goes with their whole diamond thing. Yes. Um, I think the branding is on point. However, this is a great time to bring it up. Be careful for these little diamonds on the bottom. Because if you spin the bottle, scratched our table. Did. Scratched our table. So, that's so a don't do a whoosh. Minus one for House Sagamore. <laughs> for House Sagamore. <laughs> yeah, it's just got these little, you know. Little teeth. Little teeth on the bottom of the uh, of the bottle. So be careful. I mean, <laughs> very similar to the last one, but you know, turned up. Uh, yeah. This, this one's almost 100 proof. So turned up as far as like um, depth, I get, but that spicy note that I was getting on the nose with the other one, I'm not getting so much of that. Do you want to know what's really weird and kind of disgusting and I I'm do. almost sad to say it? Yes. This is in no way reflective of how I'm about to feel about this, but when I nosed this the first time, scrambled eggs. 
No. <laughs> oh, uh, I totally get eggs. I've maybe. never said scrambled eggs before. Scrambled eggs with a lot of pepper in it. A lot of pepper. So maybe I'm getting that pepper. Yeah, I mean, the pepper is definitely there. The pepper is totally there. Yeah. It's almost starting to border on cinnamon a little bit mm. with it, um, but still just a lot of baking spices. I'm like ashamed to have said that. Ah, there's no wrong answers in sniffing whiskey. Okay, 110% no scrambled eggs present. That's good. <laughs> wow, a lot, oh well, first thing I was gonna say is a lot more barrel. Well, this one's been so nice, they barreled it twice. Derp. Um Oh, totally get that black pepper. Wow. That is, I think, what I was picking up. Like, because wow. I think when I smell eggs cooking, it's a lot, it's pepper. Yeah. Um, Although so, you're not supposed to put your seasoning until after you've cooked your eggs. That is what Chef Gordon, Gordon Ramsay told us. Um, yeah, I've been doing it wrong all these years. Uh, we don't season until the end. That's right. What'd you learn today? Let's get that right. Ooh, I like this. A lot longer finish. A lot longer. I'm getting that heat up again. Oh, this is, I mean, this is borderline savory. It is. It kind of reminds me of the Woodford Double Oak. A peppered steak, mm -hmm. like, you know, a, a steak with a with a lot of dry rub seasoning. Not Let's to go it, back to the eggs, but like, mouth water. maybe that's where I was going, like that savory, peppery. Steak and eggs? It could totally be steak and eggs. <gasps> if you need a whiskey <laughs> to drink with your steak and eggs. And who doesn't? This is what you need to go with. I do want Brenner now. I want breakfast I want for dinner. Brenner. This is enjoyable. Mm. I like this. I like this one. Nice work, Sagamore. Honestly, like to me, it's coming off as like a higher rye as far as it having that the depth of spice characteristics. Yeah. But not in the way that it's burning and hot like a 95% rye. Sure. Oh. All right, well, that will do it for that one. We're gonna go to the next. But before we do, I uh, want to tell you guys about the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. This is the third year. It'll be our third year. That's right. We'll be down there. Aside from the amazing seminars that they put together uh, all day Friday and Saturday with some great guest speakers, but then we have grand tastings on Friday and Saturday night. There's a VIP hour where you can get limited pours for that first hour, and then there's music yeah, like special and food. Pours. Dancing. One year there was Pappy 23. I don't know what there's going to be this year, but I have a feeling it's going to be a treat. And they do yeah. their own barrel picks. It's just a weekend of fun and education immersed in the whiskey community. Yes. And as we said, we're going to be there. So come down and and have a drink with us for a couple days and, mm -hmm. and learn with us and, and explore and uh, all, all that all that good stuff. Yes. NOBourbonFest.com is where you can get your tickets. Go there and uh, pick out your seminars, uh, do VIP if if in, if in you like, and uh, check it out. We'll be there. Like yes. I said, we love it. In O Bourbon Fest, New Orleans Bourbon Fest. Now's the time to buy those tickets. Now's the time. All right, on we go. 101 proof is the next one. It is a port finish. So this is a, uh, a finished whiskey. Mm. And we've had mixed experiences with port finished whiskeys right, before. Right, but, but I don't know that I've ever had a port finished rye. rye. I was just thinking that. Well, that's different. <sighs> you can smell the sweetness. You totally can. <laughs> you, well. It's more of a brown sugar smell to me though than it is like a, a heavy port influence. Yeah. Yeah, just a little sweetness, but that same like core rye, nice spice. It's a sweetness, but you know under there is hiding some spice, hiding yeah. some fire. Ooh. Hey. 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 Hey, Mikey. <laughs> I think he likes it. He likes it. Um, first impression is that I like it. Yeah. I was expecting to not like it because of the port. I don't know that it would be like the first thing that I would reach for, but it's very enjoyable. The incorporation of the port is really seamless. Mm-hmm. You know, port wine, which we're just generally not fans of in general, which is probably why we don't like port finish things, can take it down a path that we don't enjoy, but this mm -hmm. doesn't, it seems to be veering in another direction, thankfully. Yeah. It's a little dry on the finish Yep. for my taste. Outside of that, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. I kind of get, going back after the taste, I kind of get some cherries on there now. Yeah, I definitely think it has like a nice mild fruit coming through. Mm -hmm. And every time we sip, I just get this big, like oh wave of warmth much better on the second taste yeah i agree but uh it is getting dry it's a little dry the more dry. you drink it the drier it gets yeah yeah um i think that's kind of kind of the killer but the flavor the palate's great it's yeah it's really good mm. i'm impressed yeah nice little uh starting to get some building spice on there mm -hmm. 
Uh, man, I just wish my tongue wasn't just kind of creeping in on itself. Yeah. It's really drying up. Whew, but, I uh, got a little too much that time. The heat, mm. the heat is there, 100, 100 moon proof. I like it, it's kind of, it's, it's a uh, spicy sexy. Yeah, it's like a cherry dry. cordial meets, you know, a dark, dark bitter chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, a dry port wine. And like a little chili. Wine. <laughs> chili? Chili, you know, chili. not chili. Like chili but flakes? Like a pow yeah. Chili powder? Like a bam. There's a bam to it. Last but not least, the cast strength. Yes, 112.2. Now we're talking. Here we mm. go. Cast strength. Smokiest of them all. Oddly, I think I get more wood notes on this one. At least as much or more than the double oak. Very rich smelling. It's, it's rich. I still get like... The cherry that we kind of discovered in the in the port finish is, I think, kind of on this one too. I still get a little brown sugar and vanilla. Yeah. And not as much spice as I was expecting on the nose. Right. Was, it's not. I just was like thinking a, it was going to be like. It's not a spice. No, it's bouquet. very balanced. All hmm. right. There it is. Ooh. No, there it is. Foo. Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Emerald. But like real mad. <laughs> um. I mean, not. A super long finish again. None of these have I been none of these have been super long. It's still going for me. Um, it kind of it kind of died off for me. I mean, it was it was a it was a, 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 a tsunami of spice it there was. in the beginning, but it kind of went low tide pretty quickly after that. Much more um, subdued on the second taste. Acclimated to but it now. But still, that first taste was like. Bam. Bam. Ba <laughs> <laughs> I like that. No, I, okay, so yeah, second second taste, it's settling into the tongue a little bit more. It's kind of like an afterburn, mm -hmm. kind of sizzling mm -hmm. heat across the tongue, which is causing for a longer finish. I'm finally starting to get it like, you know, on the cheeks. Uh-huh, yeah. Not just the tongue, which is good. I mean, I like this in a whiskey. A little, I'm a little numb. A little bit, a little bit. I like it. I think that that proof for me, and this is like rare for me to say, I think that proof is overshadowing some of the nuances that I liked mm. in the other ones. No, makes perfect sense, yeah. But I like it, I just liked the other ones where I could experience, you know, that range of flavor a little bit more. This is, I feel like, hitting you over the head a little bit with the proof. So where's your sweet spot? Ooh, I don't know. I, I really I like, like that, that double oak. oak. <laughs> that yeah. double oak, it's good. It is I good. I do enjoy. If I were gonna rank them, I think I would actually go double oak, straight rye, port, then this. Wow. I Disagree. Know, right? Disagree. Oh, he I doesn't would go... like it. I like this, but honestly to me, it's mm. like I just had a, a red hot or chewed a stick of big red. Well, I, I mean, got I that cinnamon it. all through my like mouth and throat, and it's just it's a lot. It's overwhelming for I'm me. I'm liking it. I would probably have to go double oak cast strength, then I'd go the 83 proof and then pour it on the bottom. Just because of that dry factor, but that's the port True. influence. okay, yeah, I hear What are you that. gonna do, what are you gonna do? Well, we're going to bring them all back up, tell you about the price, and do a recommend or not. All right, well that was fun, and here they are again in the order that we try them. Let's start with the, uh, I guess you would just call Sagamore Straight Rye. This is the 83 proof. Mm -hmm. What's the price, Sarah? About 30 to 35. Um, we, again, we're sent into all of these bottles, so we looked up the prices on Total Wine, um, because we did not purchase them, so we don't know how much they cost. But in our area, this comes up about 30 to 35 dollars in Total Wine, which for that price, I have to say, I recommend. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, not a very enthusiastic recommend because of the 83 proof, but that's personal preference. I like the higher. True. So, you know, if if that doesn't have a factor in, mm -hmm. in you, I think it is a really good value. And taste wise, yeah, I, I do. I gotta give it the recommend. Yes. I'll give it a little bit more enthusiasm. A little bit. More. Okay. Okay. Next up is the double oak. Um, so this one is a bit higher. Uh, this is around the mid 60 mark, which of, was both of our favorites. So of course we picked the most expensive that one. That expensive taste. Oh geez. Um, but honestly, I really like it and I like to see, see smaller, this one. smaller, you know, newer distilleries doing this kind of stuff. Oh. I mean, they clearly have a good taste. Brown so. sugar syrup. It's great. Smelling yeah. it again, you let it kind of open up a little bit in the glass. Now people will say, would I rather have a bottle of this or would I rather have a mm. bottle of Pikesville rye? And to that I must say, those oh. are two very different types of ryes at the extreme ends. Ooh. So... You let that open up a little bit. It's, it's nice, it's, it's even better. Right? I gotta give a recommend. I mean, it was our favorite. Come on. I also have to give it a recommend. All right, cool. Favorite. Next up is the uh, Sagamore uh, the port. port, yeah, port barrel um, finish. What's this coming in price wise? 
Mid 50s. Mid 50s. I did enjoy it. I really like the flavors, but that dryness, if dryness is a killer for you in a whiskey, I would have to say avoid. I'm going to give it a try it at a bar before you buy a bottle. Yeah. Personally. I'm going to say um, if you like other port finished whiskeys, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, then I think <laughs> that you would like this. And in that case, I would say go ahead and give it a Although try. Although it doesn't taste anything like that other it port doesn't. It doesn't. Whiskey. It has a lot more flavor. Yeah. Um, and a lot different flavor. But if you like wine finished whiskeys, then I think that this is the thing for you. So All right, a little split on that one. A little split, yes. I would say yes, but if you do not, then this is definitely not for you. If you don't like dry, then no. Right. Last up is the cast strength 112.2 proof. What do we got price-wise? Uh, that one's gonna be mid 40s. Mid 40s for a cast strength rye that's not a barely legal rye as far as we can taste. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna give it a, a recommend. I, this was like my second place, so I gotta, you know? Mm, I'm a little more lukewarm about it. I'm gonna be, okay. Eh, okay. You know, I think it just depends on how rye happy you are. How so, rye happy you are. So if you love, love some rye, then I think that you will enjoy this. And if your taste aligns more with Chad's, then maybe trust, trust him on that one. You trust me. I guess out of all these four, I just, this one really stole the show for me. Sure. And I can't give this one as much love because uh, I love this one so much. So. All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Too but I, I love all the bottles. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. But again, careful on your tables. Careful on the tables. Hmm. All right. <laughs> well, that'll do it for us. Uh, if you're new to the channel, first of all, hi, how are you? Uh, you can give us a uh, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Give us one of these if you feel like we earned it. Leave us a question or comment down below. We love seeing those. Uh, you can also visit the official home for our merch. It is whiskeyambitions.com. T-shirts, glasses, lots more are coming soon. Yep, you can become a patron. It's patreon.com slash bourbonite and join in our community. You can also shop our Amazon influencer page. That's amazon.com slash shop slash bourbonite. Find all the little fun gifts that we love to give the people in our bourbon lives. And lastly, you can follow us on all the social medias. It's at it's bourbonite. All right, well, I, I, I foursome of Rise here. Excellent mm -hmm. time. So thank yes. you, Sarah. Thank you, Chad. Okay. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Or in this case, Rye. Marilyn Rye. Give me that. Exceptional mouthfeel. <laughs> <laughs>